Hi Universe, I'm AG and before we start with the test, let's summarize what we have learned on Unit 2. A cross product is a non-commutative set operation between multiple sets that will result in a product set. We saw that a relation is every subset of that resulting set operation. By swapping its components, we learn how to get an inverse relation. There are multiple options to graphically express a relation, like a math expression in a diagram, or like a directed graph with vertices and edges. Also, we can express it with arrows diagram on finite sets. A composite relation occurs when we have this linked structure on the set. An equivalent relation is reflexive, symmetric and transitive if matched with certain conditions. In the test, we'll finally apply this to find the inductive partition from the relation, and that is the final step. So, let's get started with the test. Question 1. We have these 8 different pairs, and we have to mark as true or false if can exist as a subset of a composite relation between A, B and C. First, we must have all the composite relation possible elements at hand to compare. Exists a way to go from 1 to x, from 2 to y and from 2 to z. So these are the pairs who can exist in the composite relation. Question 2. We have these 5 pairs that we must link by an arrow with its corresponding set. Can be the R complement, the intersection between R and S, or maybe the union between R and S. First, let's have these 3 sets at hand to compare the union, the intersection and the complement respectively. Then, having all the information, we complete the arrow diagram. Question 3. Given this R relation on the set A, find its equivalence set. From its concept, we know that an equivalent relation is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. But our given set has nothing about it, so here is when we apply the closures. So, what does this need to be reflexive, what needs to be symmetric, and what needs to be transitive? And there you got an equivalent R. Finally, having an equivalent relation, we are going to find the partition by mathematical induction. First, let's take the set elements one by one. A is related only on itself and B. There is no A C pair. We write the relations of A. Check B. B is already on the first subset, only left the B C relation. We write the B relations. And finally, C is related to itself, but is already on our partition. So this is all. We have found the partition induced on the set A by R. We have finished the unit 2. If you want to learn from a more advanced test on this unit, check the link on the video description. Thank you very much for watching our video and see you on the unit 3.